today's video, we are going to explore Dubrovnik, Croatia. I'll show you a two-day itinerary that's perfect for seeing the best parts of Dubrovnik in a short period of time. We'll start in the Old Town and end up at Mount Serge, with lots of exciting stops in between. This video is great for anyone who loves history, nature, or wants to experience the local way of life. So get yourself comfortable and let's start our trip around Dubrovnik. Day 1 in Dubrovnik Explore the Old Town The Old Town of Dubrovnik is a well-preserved area that offers a genuine feel of the city's past. Once you enter through the Pile Gate, you step into a world filled with shops, cafes, and restaurants. The streets are paved with smooth stones that are often narrow, creating a unique walking experience. In the Old Town, you can eat local food, shop for gifts, and watch the everyday life of the people who live there. You'll also find the Rector's Palace and the Jesuit Staircase, which are important historical places. Another popular spot is the Stradon, the main street, where you can feel the lively atmosphere of the city. Walking around the Old Town, you get a real sense of Dubrovnik's long history. Explore Dubrovnik Cathedral Dubrovnik Cathedral, also known as the Cathedral of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary, is a significant landmark in the city. This cathedral's been rebuilt several times throughout history, with the current structure dating back to the 18th century. Inside, visitors can see impressive artworks, including a painting of the Assumption of the Virgin. The cathedral also houses a treasury with religious relics and artifacts, some of which are centuries old. Visiting the cathedral provides a peaceful break from the busy streets and an opportunity to appreciate the art and architecture of Dubrovnik. Walk the City Walls The city walls of Dubrovnik are one of the city's most famous features. These walls were built to protect the city and have been well maintained over the years. Walking along the walls offers stunning views of the Old Town and the Adriatic Sea. The walk can take a couple of hours and involves climbing stairs but the views are worth the effort. Along the way, visitors can see historic forts, towers, and cannons, reminding them of the city's strategic importance in the past. Visit Fort Lovrienets. Fort Lovrienets is located just outside the western wall of the old town. This fort is set on a high rock, offering panoramic views of the city and the sea. It's a short walk from the old town and is a popular spot for photos. The fort has a rich history and was an important defense structure for Dubrovnik. Inside, visitors can learn about the fort's history and see how it was used to protect the city. The fort also hosts cultural events and performances, especially during the summer. Catch the sunset at Dubrovnik West Harbor and Pier The West Harbor and Pier in Dubrovnik are great places to watch the sunset. The area is less crowded than other parts of the city, providing a calm atmosphere to enjoy the evening. The harbor has beautiful views of the sea and nearby islands, making it an ideal spot for photography. Visitors can sit by the water, enjoy a meal at a nearby restaurant, or simply relax and watch the boats come and go. Nightlife in Dubrovnik Dubrovnik offers a variety of nightlife options, from quiet cafes to lively bars and clubs. The city's nightlife is concentrated in the Old Town, where visitors can find places to enjoy live music, dance, or have a relaxing drink. The atmosphere is friendly and welcoming, with a mix of locals and tourists. Some bars offer outdoor seating, allowing guests to enjoy the pleasant Mediterranean climate. There are also options for those who prefer a quieter evening, such as wine bars, where one can taste local wines. We've already breezed through half of this guide. If you're loving the adventure so far, make sure to jump into the subscription below and check out the link for extra juicy details on the places we've explored. If you haven't already, I would love if you could smash that like button, drop a comment, hit subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to join our travel tribe for more travel tips. Now hold on to your seats because we're about to dive into some more exciting places to see. Let's keep this adventure rolling! Day 2 in Dubrovnik Lokrom Island Lokrom Island is a short boat ride from Dubrovnik and is a popular destination for a day trip. The island has a range of walking trails, allowing visitors to explore its forests and rocky coastline. 
The island is also home to a small salt lake, peacocks, and botanical garden. Visitors can swim in the clear waters, relax on the rocky beaches, or simply enjoy the peaceful surroundings. There are a few cafes and restaurants on the island for refreshments. Explore Lokram Botanical Gardens and Benedictine Monastery. The botanical gardens on Lokram Island are a must visit for nature lovers. The gardens have a collection of exotic plants and trees, many of which were brought to the island from different parts of the world. The Benedictine Monastery is located nearby and is a site of historical and cultural significance. The monastery's ruins provide a sense of the island's past. The combination of the gardens and the monastery offers a unique experience of history and nature. Hike to Fort Royal and swim in the Dead Sea Lake Fort Royal is located on the highest point of Lokram Island and provides stunning views of Dubrovnik and the surrounding area. The hike to the fort is moderately challenging but rewarding. Near Fort Royal is the Dead Sea Lake, a small saltwater lake where visitors can swim. The lake is surrounded by rocks and greenery, creating a secluded spot for swimming and relaxation. Game of Thrones Walking Tour Head back to Dubrovnik, which was a filming location for the popular TV show Game of Thrones. Fans of the show can take a walking tour to see the locations used in the series. The tour guides provide insights into how Dubrovnik was transformed into the fictional city of King's Landing. This tour is not only interesting for fans of the show, but also offers a unique way to see the city and learn about its history. Ride the Dubrovnik Cable Car The Dubrovnik Cable Car takes visitors from the Old Town to the top of Mount Surge. The ride offers spectacular views of the city, the sea, and the islands. At the top, there's a viewing platform, a restaurant, and a museum dedicated to the Homeland War. The cable car ride is a quick and easy way to see Dubrovnik from a different perspective and is especially enjoyable at sunset. Mount Surge Mount Surge is the hill overlooking Dubrovnik. Apart from taking the cable car, visitors can also hike to the top. The hike is fairly steep but offers great views along the way. At the top, one can enjoy panoramic views of Dubrovnik and its surroundings and grab a bite to eat at the restaurant and bar. The Homeland War Museum at the top offers insights into the recent history of Dubrovnik and the region. I hope you've enjoyed this video. To find out more about the area, click the link below. That's a wrap for today's journey. If you found these travel tips and tricks useful, don't forget to hit that like button. It really supports the channel. Got any travel stories or questions of your own? I'd love to hear them in the comments below. And for more adventures and travel advice, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss what's coming up next. Until our next trip, keep exploring and stay curious.